Loads of you guys have been requesting 3D vectors. Well, here you go. We've got this awesome diagram. It's an 11 mark question. I'm not looking forward to this one, but I hope you guys enjoy it. So, what does it say? We have P is on OE in the ratio A to B, where A is bigger than B, just implying that OP is bigger than PE. Show that if BP is extended, then it will intersect FE in the ratio A minus B to B. Now, this kind of question here, they obviously have a lot of yap in the beginning, saying this is a cuboid, yada, yada, yada. The diagram is good enough for us. Okay, it's based in the question. They're saying show that if BP is extended, so we just need to work out what BP is. All right, so let's work out what BP is. Now we have to use directions that we know. To go from B to P, I'm going to go to O, which is negative B, and then I'm going to go OP. Now, what is OP? Well, O to P is some fraction of O to E, but what is that fraction? Well, remember, the ratio is A to B, right? So, it's going to be A parts out of A plus B, okay? So it's A parts out of A plus B, lots of OE. All right? And now we have to find O to E. To go from O to E, I could do B plus C, because there's your vector C. Yeah, so B plus C plus A. All right? because they told us, I haven't written it down, this is a cuboid, these are all parallel vectors. So we get B to P is minus B plus A over A plus B, lots of A plus B plus C. Now we're gonna have to expand everything. So we get BP is minus B plus A over A plus B, A plus A over A plus B, B, and A over A plus B, C. And we're still not done yet, because now we're going to have to collect the like terms. And the only like terms that we can collect are the Bs. All right? So you've got BP is going to be A over A plus B, A, and this coefficient minus this. Well, this plus this will be A over A plus B minus 1, B. You're factorizing out B. You're just reading the coefficients. And then we have A over A plus B, C. All right, cool. So we got there. Now, the question is saying, if you extend this line, yeah, if we extend this line, which let me use a different color pen, if we extend this, I'm also going to make a bit of space here so I don't ruin my red pen. If we extend that, it is going to go towards FE, and we're trying to prove that it will split it in the ratio A minus B to B. All right. Well, the way I'm going to do that is, well, the first thing I'm going to have to actually do is I'm going to have to extend this line, right? How do we extend this line? We're going to multiply it by some, some letter, which will be our multiplier, which will extend the line. I'm going to use lambda, okay? So I'm going to use lambda BP, and I'm going to just uh, add it here. Lambda BP will be all of these multiplied by lambda. Okay? And I'm going to assume that this value of lambda is what's going to take me from B to here, okay? Now, I somehow, I'm going to have to find out what this lambda value is, okay? How am I going to do that? Well, I know F to E is B, okay? So I know this direction here is just the vector B. And my pen's a bit messy here. Yeah, so this vector here is B. So if I could, um, I don't know, what should we call that point? X marks the spot. 
if I can work out the vector Fe, I could say it's parallel to B, and that's going to help me work out lambda. Okay? So let's work out Fx, sound effects in that. To go from F to X, I need to use directions that I know. And obviously, we're going to have to use BP. I'm going to go down, down, across, up. I don't feel like there's another way you could do that. I, nah, I was going to say around here, but that's, that's silly because we have BX. So remember, this is C. So we're going to go minus C, minus A, plus B. So minus C, minus A, plus B. And then we're going to add all of this, lambda, b, p. Now, that is basically at the end. I'm just not writing it because I cannot be bothered. What we're going to do is imagine this was next to it. We're again going to have to collect the like terms, right? So we're going to do that by factorizing. Let's do the a terms first. You have this minus a. By collecting the like terms and factorizing out the a, you're going to have lambda a over a plus b minus 1 a. In terms of the b's, we're going to have this plus b. OK, now we have to be careful, actually, because some students, if they even make it this far, this is 1, right? They might cancel out these 1's, and that's incorrect, because it's lambda lots of this. So I'm going to write plus. I'm going to do a square bracket. I'm going to say lambda lots of all of this plus 1. B. And then the C term will be this minus 1. It's basically the exact same as A, right? So we'll have lambda A over A plus B minus 1. OK. Now, what did we say about fx? We said fx is going to be parallel to b. I mean, it's going to be some smaller value than b, right? Because it's fx, b, fx. fx is smaller than b. But what's key here is that my fx has a and c. It's not supposed to have a and c. It should only be a multiple of b, which must mean that these coefficients are 0. And it's handy that both of these coefficients are the same. So we're going to say lambda a over a plus b minus 1 has to be 0. And from here, we can work out what lambda is. So lambda, can I be cheeky here and just say that equals 1, instead of having to write a whole new thing again? So it made it equal 0. I moved the 1 over. Lambda is times by a plus b and divide by the coefficient of a. Now remember, this value, when substituted into here and here, makes the a and the c disappear. So now we can work out what that coefficient of b is. So therefore, fx is going to be, well, subbing that in. Things don't cancel yet. So we have lambda times all of this. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring that all into one fraction. So cross multiplying, I have a minus this a plus b all over a plus b, which is nice because these a plus b's are going to cancel. And then we have plus 1 at the end, and then b cancel. Uh, wait. That times that, that times that, and the plus 1 is separate. OK, cool. fx is we're multiplying them. So the a is going to go in the bottom. a minus a minus b. So that goes, we get minus b over a plus 1, b over 1. Let's bring that together. Use a circular bracket now. So it'll be all over A. It'll be all over A. And then A minus B. Yeah, when you do that common denominator, I'm going to get A and A. So A minus B over AB. 
Interesting. So, ooh, actually, I'm wondering if this one would have been nicer to keep. Now, why am I saying that? Because what I've just worked out, if we look at the original diagram, is that this vector here is a minus b over a b. So you just need to work out this one. But remember, this is b, this is this, so you have to take them away to get what's left. But you can think of this as 1, and this is just a minus b over a, okay? 1b, a minus b over a b. So you just take them away by ignoring the, the b, right? So you're just doing 1 minus this. But actually, if you kept it like this, they, you had that plus 1, right? So actually, I think it's just easier there to see it. So I had minus b over a. This is situational, by the way. You would have just had to do the, the fractions bit again. So if I kept it like this and said that that was plus 1, okay, and said that this here was... I'm just going to write the positive one first now. 1 minus b over a, b. Well, it's obvious that if you do 1 take away this, the difference between this and 1 is just b over a. And now we can write the ratio. The ratio will be 1 minus b over a. So fe fx to xe. is 1 minus b over a to b over a times everything through by a. 1 times a is a, minus the a's cancel, and here we go. I just forgot my bracket, which you don't really need, I guess, but we ended up making it work. And that, guys, is our beautiful 11 mark question. So, if you learned something today, guys, I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button. Obviously, it helps reach more students who need this information. Subscribe for more maths content. If you want to submit your own questions, head to the Lung Gang community on Reddit. Link is in the description. And if you're interested in my maths courses, link is also in the description. I'll see you guys in the next one. Nice.